Peter Gasser, it's so great to see you here today. Yeah. We've known each other for a very long time. Too long. <laughs> Too long, yeah. When you know somebody for a majority of your life, yeah. then that's a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I first talked to you back in 2017 about this thing called vehicle intelligence, a category that you guys have since created, what did you see at that time when you had this crazy idea yeah, I, I think we very fundamentally believe, you know, we both come from the car business. Yeah. Like we grew up in the business, our families are in the business. I think we fundamentally believe that the car is going to become a software thing. How that becomes a software thing is what we've kind of explored for nearly a decade now by building tools and operating system, et cetera, and, and autonomy. And now I think there's this like very clear vehicle intelligence category that we're, we're building. But it wasn't like... We knew exactly how everything was going to unfold, but we knew software in cars is going to be a big deal. Yeah, and we knew that there's so many more things you can do when you bring advanced computing and software into vehicles. And it was just sort of the recognition of how many possibilities there were that was the inspiration for, for the company. You know, when you think about these vehicles, they're all pretty dumb. They don't do much. You, you have humans who really turn them on, move them, park them, move dirt, you know, whatever, whatever the, the machine might do. And so we think we are really at the first steps of bringing intelligence into this giant category of products. Yeah. So we've talked about vehicle intelligence a few times now. How do you actually define it? So, uh, good question. <laughs> so, it's, uh, we roughly operate in three product categories. They all kind of work together, and, but are also independent. It's the engineering tools that the you know, manufacturers use to develop the software and deploy it onto their vehicles. It's the operating system, so that actually sits on these vehicles. And then it's the applications on that operating system. So, in our, in our case, most specifically, or most obviously, it's autonomy, but there are other applications. Uh, yeah, so it's like tools, OS, apps. And then many sub-products within those categories. Yeah. And that's been also the journey of yeah. the company, right? Exactly. We started in tools, and we're all the way now in, in autonomy, but yeah, we work across all technical domains. And what's really great, both for us and our customers, is that when you do tools well, you can make the OS better. When you do OS well, you make the autonomy better. If you do autonomy well, you make the tools better. They all really work well together. And each customer has a different strategy. And so they can work with us in whichever way that best suits their needs, where we have a spectrum of options. In terms of all the different technologies that you have under the roof at Applied Intuition, there's a lot going on. I'm curious, are there things that you're prioritizing currently more than others, perhaps? Yeah, all of our values, our company values, can be roughly summarized into two words, which is radical pragmatism. And what that means, to answer that question, is we prioritize what our customers prioritize. We're fortunate enough that we work with a diversity of customers in basically all around the world. Each of them have a slightly different priority. I'm equally excited about all three product categories. You know, it's like parents, you have no favorite child. I don't, know, do you have, I don't know if you have a... <laughs> well, well, yeah, I mean, it's, so, so it's, uh, it's, of course, not only our direct customers, but also thinking about the, the, the customers that our customers have, right? Consumers. The, the, the consumers, or it could, it, could be, it could be fleets, it could be industrial companies that are, that are actually buying these vehicles. And, of course, we want to provide capabilities to our customers that, fundamentally, their customers are going to, to really get a lot of value out of. In the long horizon of the company, the, always the most difficult technical you know, problems are the ones that are the most interesting. And I think, you know, you fast forward five or 10 years, the intelligence becomes more and more and more and more important. And even in the last nearly a decade, you know, the AI part of applied intuition has become a more and more dominant part of the, of the business. And I think in 10 years, it's really only an AI company in that sense. Uh, but, uh, you know, you meet the customer at what they need rather than, have, let's say, an arrogance, which is like, we're going to shove this product to you because we think this is the right product for you. They know their customers way better than we know them. So we work with them very collaboratively. Yeah. So you guys have uh, secured partnerships with the most demanding vehicle manufacturers in the world. It's an incredible feat to do it in a relatively short period of time. How do these really important partnerships result in the kind of products you develop and just generally your product direction? 
We have lots of, I would say, strengths in the company that have helped us succeed, but probably near the top of the list is we know our markets quite well. Like we come from the markets, right? So I went to the General Motors Institute, you know, Peter's family, parent, father, grandfather, et cetera, worked in automotive. And you're both from Michigan. Yeah, we're both I'm from the same area too. We're from the same, same neighborhood, <laughs> literally. Uh, and so I think you end up knowing a market in a way that it's very hard to just pick up. That's been massive for us. You can ask your customers, what do they want? What do they need? How much are they willing to pay for? In Silicon Valley, software companies or AI companies, that analogy of you know know your customer is really like be a consumer company and solve the problem for yourself. In a way, we're solving the problem for ourselves because we grew up in the ecosystem. And that's been a superpower. You can't just guess the market. You got to really know it and really understand it. And that makes the customer collaboration way more strategic yeah. immediately. Yeah, and, and we've been at this for eight years. And I think we've, we've proven ourselves time and again in the industry. And, and we're now really operating at the time scale of the industry, which is always a multi-year relationship in the sense of it can take five years to bring a new vehicle to market. Yeah, absolutely. This is not a market for quick, fast, dirty, and easy. It is safety critical systems that are deployed for a decade plus at a time. The partners are extremely demanding and their expectations of us are very, very high. So if you can earn that seat at the table, that is a, a really great position to be in and I think it bodes well for our future. You guys are truly building a generational company with applied intuition and congrats on all the progress to date, but I know that you said your work is still all ahead of you which is why we're doubling down on our investment from a few years ago to lead this round. And uh, we're really excited about the future and the partnership together. Yeah, thank you guys for your continued support over the many years. And yeah, we still got a lot to go. 